gay and late and late and gay and it hasn't started yet. But this thing will show up when we do the live version. So there's an awkward moment of silence at the beginning. And I'm trying to fill it with nonsense while I'm waiting for it to actually... Gay okay, there it is. Late and gay and it... Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Cool. Hello, everyone. Sorry that we are one minutes late. Yeah, I know, dude. I know that that's crushed many of your dreams. A whole fucking minute late. Well, welcome to Cynics vs. Cinema. Uh, TJ and I are going to be looking at a movie called Abraxas, Guardian of the Universe tonight. Abraxas, Guardian of the Universe. And such. And such, yeah. Um, it's got Jesse Ventura in it, so it has to be good. Everything Jesse Ventura touches is gold. Yep, yep, yep. Glasses. You like the glasses, Chad? I know you're... Look, I know they, you're look, do the look flip, Paul. Do the flip, do the flip, do the flip! And he can do it with just one, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you look like fucking um, Dracula from the, the Gary Oldman... <laughs> I look, I look very much not like Gary Oldman in Dracula. I mean, yeah, you do. I might be wearing glasses You're wearing like he had. You're wearing similar glasses. That's all it takes, dude. That's all the fucking That's really takes. all it takes? Wow. Yeah. Cool. Didn't he have a beard in that, too? He had a beard. Yeah, but it was way more kempt. Ah, whatever, Paul. He was, he was dressed. You're selling yourself short, Paul. You fucking strike an imposing Dracula in my book, dude. Oh, man. Uh, so, uh, what else can we do to put off starting this? We can talk about the fact that uh, Streamlabs will be on throughout the show. We're not gonna. There's not no audio for it, but we will see it down there. If we miss it, it's because we're staring over here at Abraxas, Guardian of the Galaxy. But uh, we'll try to keep an eye out for any Streamlabs that appear. Remember that Streamlabs do help support uh, Cinema for Cynics and. Uh, Shows like this one. This is Cynics versus Cinema. I'm TJ. This is Paul. Kind of a belated introduction, but you know. Yeah. Whatever. We're about to watch a Braxis Guardian of the Galaxy. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this show, it's pretty much just MST3K, but it's less witty and more stonery. It's Guardian of the Universe, TJ, not the Galaxy. Oh, okay. Sorry. It's not that hackneyed fucking Marvel shit. No, no. This shit. is this is fucking real. This shit. is real sci-fi. Real sci-fi. Real science fiction with a real leading man, Jesse the Body Ventura. You can see him down below us there. He's a beautiful man. Uh, just That's actually a screen cap from this very film. Yep. Too. Well, just one frame of his brilliant performance in this movie. Yeah. And, uh, you know, without further fucking ado, I guess. Yeah. Let's rip the band-aid from, off. From the year of 1991, here is Abraxas, Guardian of the Universe. Are you ready? I'm ready now. Glasses engaged. Rose and Ruby presents. Is it really just like the names of the two people that yep. shot and edited this? Yeah. <laughs> Rose and Ruby. Rose and Ruby's film studio. Marjorie Bransfield. Sven Ol Thorson. There's another Marvel connection. Thor. Abraxas, Guardian of the Universe. It's a pretty cool title card for the early 90s there. Had the shimmer effect on it. Yeah. That's how you know something's quality when it gleams. Shimmers. You know, yeah. Yeah. Francis Mitchell was involved. Always a big fan of Francis Mitchell. Oh, I hate Jerry Levitin. Sounds like a, uh, a great soundtrack so far, though. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you, it's not very pleasant. Uh -huh. It involves reinforcement of skeletal and muscle structures by shortwave irradiation and ozone layering to 0 0.23. <laughs> this sounds like a campaign speech for Jesse Ventura. So some researcher came up with the idea to play word association games while they roast your tissue. Planet of origin. Sargatia. Sargatia? Oh, no, Sargation. Some of us are. Some of us it's like are a sargastic gation. Sargations. Sargations? What is Sargatia? My home planet. <laughs> <laughs> Exposition <laughs> shocking! <laughs> Reveal expository <laughs> information <laughs> while we shock you. <laughs> 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 
Alexis. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Easy for you to say. Easy what? for you to say. You're going to lean very heavily on that in person, I am. aren't you? I am, yes. <laughs> That's my division. So much science happening right now. Yeah, there is a lot of scientificness. <laughs> Finders are required to renew their vows every hundred Earth years. I've renewed wow, what a coincidence that their time. years lined up so That's perfectly right. with ours. I yeah, why are you still measuring in Earth years? years? What is the law? To defend all life. What is the law? To be loyal to the vow of protection. What is the law? <laughs> I will have no What is this effect behind him? Obligations as a awesome. Okay. You stick so. around as long as I am, and you're gonna see it all sooner or later. All of it. Now they're sending me out to bring in Secundus, my ex-partner. He'd gone over the top. An occupational hazard for all finders. We see too much. We're around too long. Finders are so the So he's called a finder? Universe, yeah, he's a finder. Okay. Yeah, blow that fucking tree up. I'm already lost. What's happening? I don't know. He's finding things, I guess. He's a finder. Come on. I found this tree and then I blew it up. Written and directed by Damian Lee. This was some dude's passion project. The renegade has been located. Affirmative action in process. Oh shit, affirmative action? Shouldn't shouldn't you be hiring some black people then? Who is it? All finders Secundus. are Caucasian. Secundus. Still after a co-mater. Yes. But now he's Apparently they don't have lights in space. Coding. Yeah, that's and pretty cool. They have like a little laser a thing. Probability <laughs> <laughs> is the co-mater will be born. I bet he's got skin like steel after his re-engineering. Have you sent a finder after him? Yes, I sent a Braxis. I used warp travel. You used warp travel? Must be some distance you're covering. Yep. What sector? RVS-034. It's a little planet. Are you sure it's 034? Right? Yeah, I thought our, I thought our coordinates were 035. Yeah, I thought we were RVS-035. We're barely ahead of What a stupid movie. This movie's already <laughs> dumb. Doesn't even know our RVS <laughs> coordinate. <laughs> <laughs> so, We've intervened twice. Idiots. But basically, they're on the right path. All right. Nice place. Unlike the filmmakers. All right, I suppose. Never been there myself. The inhabitants call the place Earth. <laughs> nice name. I Nebraska hate any scene in a movie where it's like the an obscure little stroke, planet, <laughs> Earth. They call it Earth. Earth. Yes. Its primitive Where's people have Braxis? not yet mastered warp travel. <laughs> yeah. Secundus turned we are aliens. You know that. You should not have sent a Braxis. Braxis Someone in the chat said this is literally Braxis pointless Secundus dialogue. No. You need to pay attention to this. Yeah, you're not tuned in. But this dude. is going to be important we'll later in the story. Well, you're so off. I know Secundus. I you know what he's know. capable of. See, Secundus is the bad guy. Yeah, he's the is. he's the renegade that they're sending the Braxis after. Okay, cool. I should be at command Good to central. Know. See? Instead, I'm wasting my career at some godforsaken outpost at the edge of the known universe. Now I have a problem on a yeah. planet no one's ever heard of. A Braxis better take care of this. Alright. Just doing a test. Make sure that's working. Like, I mean, okay, it's, like, I get it, it's some alien civilization or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But, like, they, st they, they haven't progressed to the point of sending muscle dudes after one another. Like, that, like, there's not something better they can send than just a muscle dude with a laser pistol. The real question is... <coughs> <coughs> Did Jesse Ventura know that he was making Suburban Commando at the same time as Hulk Hogan? Like, was this, was this like an arms race to see whose space bounty hunter movie could be greenlit first? Oh, uh, I think we, uh, I think we see now who won that one. Wow. Uh, no one won that. They're both terrible. Come on, dude. Suburban Commando is a classic TV. Damn it, how'd 
just get so big again? Alright, I have to go read that Streamlab in the thing, and then I have to go change the settings. We can pause Abraxas. Nah, it's alright. You keep watching Abraxas, I'll handle this. person sent. Sorry about your text getting cut off. It should be fixed now. Let me just do a test to make sure. Yeah, now the text is small enough that it'll fit. Uh, I'm going to go read what you said. I'm gonna watch two muscle guys uh -oh. shoot lasers at each other in the snowy woods. Batista, aka Drax, is probably one of the few big men who Vinny Mac didn't originally have plans for. Kinda ironic that he was also one of the few big dudes to make it in Hollywood. Then again, Vince is out of touch. Not only that, but Batista, unlike every other wrestler I've ever seen transition into a movie career, including The Rock, can actually fucking act. Kinda. No, I think I'll stay in here and get abducted by yeah, it's a little big late for that. Man. Why didn't you get out while he was dragging your boyfriend through because the window? It's hard to open a car door. Ah, I just can't get it. Ah, I'm stupid. So, are we gonna fuck now, or...? Your body. Communication from cool. command. Did you say you needed her body? Yeah, I need your body. I need it for my penis. She seems pretty calm for a chick that just got kidnapped. I think she was... I think the reason she was so slow to get out of the car is like, ooh. She's like, oh, wow. Well. I was abducted by a big muscle man and he ravished me multiple times. I guess she changed her mind. Like, if Abraxas is supposed to be, like, you know, the, the you know, fit physical specimen of a man or whatever the fuck, why, why is male pattern baldness still a problem? They just don't care about that in space, dude. They're not as... They're not as vain as we are. It would never even occur to them to hold baldness against somebody. Wow. That's, that's primitive Earth shit. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that was exciting. Wow, this music, huh? <laughs> Classic. Oh, man. So, so far this is ripping off... I guess, it's, I guess you can't really say it's ripping off Suburban Commando because they came out around the same time. It's definitely ripping <laughs> off Starman a little. Terminator. Terminator for sure. Uh oh. I really do need your body. Uh. Okay. DNA complete. Is he impregnating her with his alien baby? God, I hope so. Hot. I don't know if we missed it appear on screen or if it just didn't what for some reason, but face. Pocket Wolf donated five dollars and said, "I'm low on money, but here's some like anyways." Smiley. Thank you. Thank you. It's over. Right. Do a pingus, Paul it's Zigo. Great. Do a pingus. A, what's a pingus? I don't know. What is a pingus? Donate God, another five dollars and explain what a pingus is, and I'll do it. There you go. Lifespan, virtually unlimited power, almost virtually. It's not enough when I can have it all. <laughs> the key is the These two guys are COVID. fucking riveting, man. <laughs> yeah, dude. Be able to compute it's a good thing they both are, like, just brimming over with charisma and watchability, COVID. because if they weren't, this movie would not be working right now. Yeah. But luckily, they are, so it is. I know you. I know you. So did he just absorb the chick? Um, so I haven't seen her. Secundus will be transported to Penal Planet to Rannis 7. Ooh, Penal Planet. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! I win! 
see you soon at Braxis. Stand clear. Bravo Warp is operating. Okay, so it's ri de <laughs> directly ripping off Star Trek now. Yep. So now we got we Starman, Star Trek, Terminator. The possibility of the birth of Secundus's child immediately. Eliminate the female. To eliminate the offspring upon birth would be hazardous. The anti-life equation could erupt. You okay, so now his job is to kill the woman who, I guess, got impregnated by Saraba Bob's fucking Damn. baby hand. Dude, that's a quick pregnancy cycle, man. They got that shit figured out in the future. It's like, yeah, I'll just touch your belly and some glowy shit will happen. Pingus is a Dr. Robotnik meme from 10 years ago. Oh, well, that, that explains why I had no clue what the fuck it was then. Well, do it, Paul. Isn't he already doing it? Just look at him. Kill that bitch. Ugh. Abraxas, you must eliminate the female before birth occurs. You have 30 seconds. What is happening? To I'm me? shooting you in the face. I'm sorry, but I have to shoot you. 15 seconds, Abraxas. Yeah, if you don't do it in 15 like seconds, then whatever will happen is gonna happen. <laughs> I can't do it. Five, four, three, I have too many scruples. Two, one. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't do it. The Comator is born. We don't know if the child is a Comator yet. The mere possibility of such an occurrence is sufficient to warrant the death of the woman and the child. Yep. Amen. Killer. Killed a bitch. Wow. That was quick. Better. Better. Well, the baby's born now, so I guess you can just kill it Damn. now. Damn. She's got a loose ass vagina, dude. She just plopped that <laughs> shit right out. She just, she's like, <laughs> oh, there's. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's there my son. I'll name him Carlos. And she's doing just fine, having just given birth, wandering through the tundra. Yep. No worries. <laughs> Not sore at all from squeezing that out. Nope. Her vag is still nice and tight and pretty. Most women are up and about moments after giving birth. Running through the fucking snow. Yeah. Now she's gonna kill the baby. Sweet! Well then... I guess she, there probably wouldn't be a movie if she actually killed it. Oh, yeah. She's probably gonna look into its eyes and be like, oh, I can't do it. So, so far in this movie, we've already had two of these, like, I can't kill the person I should obviously kill moments. Alright, so, you decided not to kill the baby, let's go. Man, this saxophone is just... <laughs> yeah, dude, it really adds to the moment. It's speaking to my soul, man. I know that tough this moment when you're... This movie fucking hits you here. That's some fucking... I, I mean, thought about killing my baby today music. Who you know hasn't been there, so, dude? Who hasn't thought of, you know, throwing their little product of alien rape off of a bridge at so one point or another? I'm not asking you to believe me. I'd sell for some help. Well, why won't you tell us who the father is? It's a fucking space alien. I, uh... I know this sounds terrible, but I honestly don't know who the father is. Well, the only thing worse than protecting a delinquent father is not knowing who the father is. I have nothing to be ashamed of. I was raped. You want me to leave this house? I will. Wait a minute. She lives with them? How did? How did? How do they think she snuck a nine-month pregnancy by them? County of birth. Simple. Town. They're not the least bit concerned. Same. Nope. I'm People in movies don't ask questions. Thomas, Thomas Murray. Ooh, Thomas. Hey. Good Thomas. name. Got that. Give me yours. Sonia Murray. Father. Um. Space I'm alien. 
dude that put his hand Stop. on my tummy. Hey, what did you do? Find the kid in the parking lot? You want to register the kid? Okay. How do I know this kid is yours, huh? You got one affidavit signed by yourself. Now, who's the father? He's a star man. I'm the mother. Okay. That wasn't what he asked, but okay. Good for you, lady. <clears throat> Don't laugh. You never cry. You never make a sound. Good. Who are Hopefully you? it'll stay that way. Who are you? Where did you come from? I bet you have a lot of secrets. Am I supposed to be touched by this, or... <laughs> Just checking my... What the appropriate emotional response is to this crap. It's been five years since Tommy was born. Five oh, years since So that five night. years later, okay. We have a nice, fairly regular life. Except that Tommy has never spoken. He's never made a sound. Good. Sometimes, I have no idea what he's really thinking. Tommy's got the tism. I've never told him what his father was. I love him so much. Great. But I'm afraid that something terrible is going to happen to him. Well, it probably will. I don't know why, but I have this feeling that something will take him away from me. Dude, I'm starting to think that this movie is foreshadowing its plot, dude. Maybe. Okay. And then a room of explosions. Why you shouldn't be Saw. He's a I'd rather be watching that right now, actually. <laughs> I'd rather be the victim of that. Yeah, you'd rather, be, you'd rather just wake up and be like, I'm chained to this fucking tub. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Have you seen any other doctors about this? Yes, about a dozen or so over the years. Sonia, has there been any trauma in Tommy's life at all? When he was born? He, he cried. A little bit, but then he stopped. <clears throat> and since then? Not a sound. Nothing. Pass that to me, please. This is Here you go. I need this. We confirm the escape of Perfectly legal tobacco Stand there by, for we will advise. How did he escape? We're not sure. Secundus would be irrelevant if you had eliminated the girl before she gave birth. Yeah. None of us could be certain her child would possess the anti-life equation. We're the anti-life equation? Okay. I could go for that right about the now. Boy may be capable of unconsciously this movie is the anti-life anti equation. <laughs> yes. And Secundus is capable of ripping it right out of his brain. Consciously hide the comator is still dormant. Secundus. Secundus. Here's an idea. If you're going to make a movie, don't name your villain Secundus, because it sounds like some arise. weird Indian sexual position. Secundus. That would have prevented the problem. He was a finder of Praxis. Was. Now he's an uncontrollable malcontent. Oh you my god, does this movie have anything All other than exposition in it? <laughs> he used to be like me. It's but now man. he's a malcontent. My mandate does not allow execution of innocent women and children. Do you realize what you've done? Let me spell it Why are they you. reprimanding him for it five years fucking later? -like, like, if they really wanted this I'm fucking sentry. bitch and her kid Destructive dead, couldn't they have force. sent someone else the to go kill him by now? Shatter worlds. I understand, but it still doesn't justify murder of an innocent victim. You've endangered the lives of millions of people for the sake of one woman and one child. I think you're over-dramatizing the situation, Height. I think not. Don't you want the situation ready. dramatic? It's a movie. I mean, like, the whole thing wouldn't be a problem if they could just keep Secundus right in jail. Why don't they just put a bullet in Secundus' fucking head? So. Another water landing? Has to be. You restrict the carbon-based H2O warps. The planet is 70% water. Abraxas? <laughs> what is this, geography now? <laughs> what am I, geology class? Kill the child before Secundus. The decision to terminate is mine alone. Not in this case. I'll solve the problem my way. There's no time for this height. Let's pay weaponry a visit. Abraxas, you'll need some heavy artillery. Secundus hit a techno carrier after he escaped. Travel warps are like wormholes connected. So it's basically like the first part of the movie, but again, yeah. Fuck. 
Secundus and this dude went to the planet. Secundus impregnated this bitch. Then five years later, Secundus escapes, and now we're looking at some ripoff visuals from 2001: A Space Odyssey. Don't insult 2001: A Space Odyssey. What happened? I tried to run parallel with Secundus's travel warp, and the streams crossed. Will the stream don't, don't cross the streams. Was this Ghostbusters too? All they'll Fuck. have left is their answer boxes. Readings indicate that Secundus's answer box is in low charge. He'll be forced to find a repower generation source immediately. Someone that sent a little Ricky Gervais gift. Yeah. This movie sucks. Twelve. The the out, I'm sorry, twelve hundred and uh, seventeen donkey cocks. But you guys make it bearable. Well, thank you. That's thank what you. We're, that's what we're trying to do. We're having yeah. this one's tough. Yeah, this one is a uh, leather tough, dude. Yeah, like it's hard to even sink your teeth into how bad this is. I mean, it's been a, it's been a hundred percent expository dialogue up until this point. Like he catches Secundus, Secundus explains his whole plot. Then the lady explains what happens, and then the, he explains again to the people what happens and what's gonna happen. I thought you were still asleep. Yeah, I, I wish I was. Meeting with your principal today. He wants to talk to me about you. You haven't been up to any mischief, have you? No, I didn't think so. Come on. Let's get you washed, dressed, and fed, huh? Man, I hope we get to see her walking to school, too. <laughs> what? It was like a turd in a fucking toilet bowl. A big electric turd. Welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. Abraxas. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Thank you for the $8. So you're Tommy's father? Yes. Is it uh, Mrs. Murray? No. If I'd have known we were going to have to watch this yes. to get that $8, I might have said, fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. Has there been uh, any abuse in the family? No. Yeah, I beat him regularly. How long has he not been speaking? All his life. Well, do you think maybe that uh, Tommy's uh, acting I recognize that. Yeah, that dude's fucking... Not speaking that's that one guy. Angry. No. I think he's mute. Well, have you tried any... Anything the fuck is that guy's speech. goddamn name? Belushi? Here. It is one of the Belushis, isn't it? It's John or James. It's not James. It's gotta be John Belushi then. No, no, it's not John. What is Which of the fucking Belushis is that? And why is he in this fucking shit? <laughs> what are you getting at, Mr. Ryan? Which fucking Belushi is it? It's the shittier Belushi. Yeah, the less successful Belushi. But longer lived Belushi. He just needs the longer protection. lasting but inferior <laughs> Belushi. <laughs> His presence is causing a problem with the students. Why did he take this role? Money. Frankly, there. I mean, like, it was like 1991. He kind of had a career down. at that point. They push him. They, they call he thought names. this was going to be the big shit, Teasing. dude. Constantly. Why don't you just tell them to stop teasing him, to stop pushing him, to stop calling him all kinds of names? Have you ever thought of just telling them to stop it? Man. Is there a Mr. Gump? Mrs. Gump? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll try that. I'll speak to the kids. Yeah, just, well. Wait a minute. Well, okay, hold on. Yeah, I never tried talking to the kids about it before. That. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Uh, I, as the principal of a fucking school, will check into that. Maybe I'll talk to these bullies and tell them to stop. <laughs> wow. Something wrong. I might write a book about this revolutionary new principal <laughs> technique. <laughs> it's James. James Belushi. Okay. John Belushi's the good one. Alright, that's dead. Long ago. In hand to hand, I could take him. But first, I had to recharge my hands at books. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh shit, dude. Strap in, TJ. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. How much B roll did they shoot of these two idiots running around the woods and I don't the snow? Know. Too much. I think we're seeing all of it, too. They're chasing each other through a fucking stream. <laughs> this I, this is the lamest shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the least interesting chase. Oh my chase. god. Uh, two fucking 
space alien bounty hunters running through a fucking stream. Why? <laughs> With, saxophone. With saxophone music playing and fucking expository dialogue happening in one of their brains and... Now yeah, they're gonna roll in the fucking mud together. Oh god. Who shot this? Who scored this? Why did people agree to act in it? I don't know. I'd rather be roasting a weenie over that campfire right now, man. I'd... I'd almost rather they were roasting my weenie over that fucking campfire at this point. Maybe we should change this show to Paul and TJ roast weenies over a campfire and talk shit. There we go. It's a better show. Oh god, it's pain. This movie's not even trying to make you interested. It's, it's just like, if you were stupid enough to be watching this, then good luck, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. the type of shit that even like you know local tv won't play on a saturday during the fucking downtime They're like nah what does this movie have on imdb i wonder this is the worst movie i've ever seen it's too much i'm tapping out well thanks floyd thanks for trying and thanks I, for the five bucks i appreciate bucks. it we appreciate you giving it a shot. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, bring me a better movie, please. Yeah, give me one of your hey, bitches you to want? impregnate. What are you doing here? What do you want? I'll handle this. I am insufficiently charged to activate this. 2.6 on IMDb is what this has. A 2.6, huh? Yeah. What's your driving record? I've got quality Seems a little insurance. high. It doesn't cover high Seems way drivers. high. That's about 2.6 too high. I'm willing to overlook this if you are. I could sue you for this, you know. Personal harassment. I'm a lawyer. I can litigate. Give me the key. I'm a lawyer. I can litigate. <gasps> Grab the keys. Grab the keys. Michael, Michael, get, get the keys. Get. Are we having fun yet? Here. No. Here you go. Those keys were there to mock us, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. This movie is absurd. Wow, my pulse is pounding. <laughs> Look at his bald ass fucking head up there. <laughs> oh, that's great. Poor Jesse Ventura, dude. <laughs> this dude was a governor. <laughs> Dude, whatever his political opponent was should have just shown people this movie and said, do you really want this to be your governor? You know, you really the problem with that strategy is someone, there's, uh, there's probably some, a Someone hit us up with the stream that says, times are rough. They spelled it like a dog. A dog is rough, though. Got it. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. Dude, Chelsea, the, the sweet guardian angel, Chelsea. The angel of mercy. You know, I was wondering. Thank you for hand rolling that tobacco Nicholas. cigarette for us, Fisher. Chelsea. Yes. Much obliged. I was having a nicotine fit sitting here hey. watching this pulse pounding film. Howdy, Johnny. Yeah, it's really. Wait, here. Here's your fucking tomatoes. Here's your fucking hats. Stop. Here's your fucking RV. Ah. Could you please provide me with ground transportation? <laughs> no, you freak. I'd be like, fuck no, get out of the fucking way, bitch! Why not, Johnny boy? I'm not no weirdo that you fucking talks down. like that and looks like you in my fucking breath. Uh, I've been busy, you know what I mean? I've been busy, well. Sounds like pure failure to me. Police in this small town is yep. a lot of work. <laughs> Tell many Some good kids man loitering down. in front of Jim's well, bakery earlier. Come on, I'll buy you one. Say hello to some of the locals. 
So I'm assuming from that music that that was supposed to be like some kind of comedic yeah, relief of some kind. The goofy deputies. You got to have jokes in there for that to work, movie. Sorry. Perhaps you'd have some local clothing I could wear. Sensors indicate appropriate. Why would they take Jesse Ventura, who knew how to work a ring, right? Like he knew how to fucking give a promo and shit and be all animated and stuff. Why would you give him a role where he was just like Maybe they're trying to make him Arnold, dude. Maybe they're trying to it's just another another uh, fucking Terminator ripoff. <laughs> yeah, they're just like, yeah, you do the same like Arnold. Hey, hey, hey! Respect the Pepsi, sir. Respect the fucking Pepsi, sir. Come on now. Would make me a god. More ex more expository mental. I need the hibbity jibbity to become the flippity wubbity. He wants the anti-life equation, because it will make him a god. It will make me a god. It exists in the little boy's brain, and whatever the fuck is going on. Must recharge battery. Program resumed. Warp travel damage corrected. Warp travel back. damage corrected. Even the fucking wristwatch has expository dialogue. Hey, what are you doing in my shop? I don't know, trying to look for things to buy. I am recharging my answer box. <coughs> what the hell that is? You sure picked the wrong place to do it. You're quite a big man. Big enough to take you, pal. Yes. Well, no, because obviously. Test for the anti life equation. Subject does not possess anti-life equation. Testing will result in... So wait, he doesn't even know who has it? You think that was the kid that you just impregnated that bitch with five years ago? So is his plan to go around and just kill everybody until he finds the kid? You got the anti-life equation? Nope. You got the anti-life equation? You got it? <laughs> Seems like it's gonna take him a while at this pace. My box says BD, trust me. Your what? VD. This box. Vibrational detection. Oh, Everything I get it. Yeah, <laughs> VD. You see, that's frequency. a joke. We just can't read them. This device, my answer box, can read and locate anything. It's made solid. Answer box. With. My answer box. I mean, I guess we landed on iPod and shit, so it's not. We're not that much better. VD. Yeah. Michael, In an alternate universe, maybe the iPods the and shit were called answer boxes. <laughs> the answer box, dude. <laughs> Boy's never gonna learn. Anybody belong to that poor excuse? Maybe for a if the Zoom had been called the answer Need box, it would have said better, you know. Talking now. The Zoom. <coughs> Got a problem with that? I know some hipsters had uh, Zoom. He's just doing his job. He doesn't mean anything. Sheriff Sharp, under section 217. Well, actually, the Zoom's pretty just cool. The fucking Zoom. Never dude. causes any. I'm trying to. I must locate the contents. Good luck. Zoom. Zoom. You got to learn the difference between the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. Sheriff, I think now, right now. Oh. You're trying to. Thank God, more comedy relief. On the letter of the law. <laughs> right? Now this is a small town. Small no town. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> even even the get comic it? relief is expository. Oh shit. Out of the city. I'll yeah, he is. He's just gonna go around from person to person. I didn't want to spend my time. You got it. their heads up. What is it called again? The anti-life equation? Yeah, yeah. Gay. Listen, we're a couple of small town cops. There's not a lot of guys out here. If something big were to go down, it'd be down to you and me, partner. You know what I'm saying? Those people are locals. We have to be prepared to defend ourselves. For what? Apple pickers? Good point. Sheriff, we got an emergency at town hall. It's a cop with the right attitude. Yeah, fuck it. Just collect your paycheck and shut your fucking mouth, yeah. Secundus had the mother's name and would be looking for the location of the Oh, the God, please. Shut up. Logic. This was the terminal end of the travel war. Don't you mean Terminator? <sighs> this movie gave me terminal cancer. <laughs> I wish it was giving me cancer so I could just die and it would be over. Hey, he's going around killing people looking for the anti-life bullshit. Hey. Hey. Hey, guy who's killing everybody. What's up? Well, you got cut off. So what are you going to do about it? You going to fix it or what? Do you 
you have the anti-life bullshit? Better go, Scandus. Get out of my way, or I will cross your skull. Stop it. One more bark, a whisper from you, and her brain is dust. It's rhyming. Do what he says. You will kill her. Who are you? I'm a fellow officer. I'm in pursuit of this man. He's not armed. Can nail him. I don't think so. Do you want the girl to die? Tell them, Abraxas. They cannot change destiny. <laughs> Up against the wall. Give me your guns. Give me your guns, Johnny. You're right. Wait a minute, huh? This doesn't seem like how things would actually be going down. Yeah, like, if you're some unarmed guy, I don't- you're not gonna be like, I find it credible that he has superhuman strength without any demonstration. Because this homeless bald weirdo told me it. Named Abraxas, apparently. Like, all of you get on the fucking floor. <laughs> yeah, it's like, get on the fucking ground now. Let's sort this out at the station. Ah, two dipshit deputies. Stay. Stay. Or I will kill her. Damn. That was sadistic. So sadistic. Dude, the composition on these action scenes is some of the worst I've ever seen. Like, I just can't even tell you how bad this is. It's almost indescribable. It's just... horrible. It feels like they just spent one shooting day in the snow filming Jesse Ventura running across different landscapes. And then a shooting day in the woods, and then a shooting day in the city where he's doing the same thing. And then one shooting day for all the dialogue. Yep. <laughs> that sums it up right there. That's our squad. It's everybody's squad. Not today. I thought you didn't talk. No, it isn't, you little fucking communist. Is that the one who doesn't talk? Which one doesn't talk? You two beat it. What? I said beat it. No one wants to be defeated. Oh shit. Damn. <laughs> well, that's a good power to have as a nerdy kid. <laughs> you just stare at anybody and they piss their <coughs> pants. <coughs> Joe, don't fuck with Billy, man. He make you piss your pants. Dude, I wish I wish we'd spent more of this movie <coughs> watching, watching this kid. Yeah, dude. Other kids hey, piss their pants. Kid. <laughs> hey, want to piss your pants again? There you go. But this time I'm gonna make you real sorry. This time I'm gonna make you shit your pants, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's not as cool as making him piss his pants. I mean, it's equally as cool for me. You're just like any fucking sort of power I can have against the bullies that tormented me. Yeah, dude. I'd have loved to have been able to, like, push them across the room psychically. <laughs> I guess you're right, though. Piss the, the pissing pants would be more fun. Yeah, you should have made him shit his pants in that scene. Oh, well, yeah, piss wasn't enough for you, huh? Betty? It's Tanya. Forgot my keys again. Sorry. What else is new? So what your day did? It was good. Really busy, but good. You? Eh, you know, the usual. You still going out to movie tonight? Hi, Tanya. Hi. Someone hey, said, dude, you? corpse midget shot oh. this shit. Why is it always at such a low <laughs> angle? <laughs> That's a good point. You still want to go to the movies? Go get a sweater. It's chilly outside. Basically, here running through the woods. While you're gone? No, fine. Whatever you want. Great, because ours got all those squiggly lines and it can't see nothing. Who um, cares? Get out of here. Help yourself to anything you want. Don't forget your keys. Oh, no, I'm... Man, can we so get... So what is worse, this or the burning? Merry 
Oh, that's tough, dude. We may have to watch the burning on here one day. I think we should. I mean, that means we have to watch the burning again, though. <laughs> you know? So, maybe we shouldn't. I don't believe it. I forgot my keys again. Do you believe it? I'd say that this is probably oh, worse than the burning so far. At least the burning had the insinuation of people being burned alive by a fucking Norman Bates ripoff. And I genuinely wanted to see where the burning was going to go, whereas I couldn't care less how this ends up. Yeah. This is worse. All I want to know is, is like, you know, are we going to focus on Billy and his power to make people piss their pants more? Do they see the nugget of gold that they have in this shit burrito? I know, I know, you forgot your key again, right? Okay. Oh shit. What a flimsy door. It's not flimsy, he's just super strong. <coughs> mommy, mommy, mommy! Why was the door mommy, paper mommy. fucking thin then? Run the test. Run the test. Oh, and here comes Jabraxius here. We should just do the Jesse Ventura commentary on Abraxius. Yeah, uh, here this was this this we shot in two nights in somebody's trailer house outside of Poughkeepsie, Illinois. And uh, I remember one of these chops he gave me really stung a bit, you know. He, he was not good at pulling punches. Yeah. Never mind, that's horrible. <laughs> I don't know, it was kind of cool. It was better than watching <laughs> this movie for sure. Oh, okay, he got you lamp know, stabbed. He, that he, was almost cool. He didn't really stab <laughs> me here. That's just a special effect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, uh, the, the wizardry is, is still astounded today. Astounded. Are you making fun of my action? No. I love it. I love it, Jesse. Anyway, let's talk from <coughs> TJ, the producer. <coughs> the midget producer and cameraman, TJ. The, we used to call him the midget wonder back before it was wrong to call people midgets. It's always been wrong. That's not true. In the, in the 80s, midgets were proud to be midgets. Someone just called this eternal undying Abraxas. <laughs> <laughs> that that works. It does kind of have a Brett Keen feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Large Marge donated three three fifty. Yeah. Thank you, Large. Thank Marge, you, Large Marge, for your. Isn't Large Marge that the truck driver in Pee Wee's Big Adventure? Yeah. It's disturbing. Yeah, that was a crazy scene. Yeah, that was a way Come, better movie. Comes right the fuck out of nowhere. I wish we were watching that. We're not. We're watching a Braxis no. Guardian of Then the we would just be sitting here quietly laughing and enjoying Hold it. <laughs> Hold it right there. Ah, Tim Tommy. Burton and fucking and Paul Rubens. Right now. What a team you made back before you both sucked. Five years, I have lived with this thing that is so unbelievable that the only people I can tell are my parents. When I tell them, Poor Pee -wee. they told me. He can just jerk off in the privacy of his own home now. That impregnated me. Think, this scene was really tense to, to film. Me a note or something? Uh, you know, I had great chemistry with the uh, leading this lady. Really did happen? Oh, and no, uh, it really shows here uh, in this, uh, once again, very low here, shot right? composition. Think about what I'm going through <laughs> or how difficult it is making ends meet. Do you have any idea how much a two bedroom house costs? <laughs> you know, I just what is like their thought I with the to... framing of him there? How? How? What have you got in there, Steel? Blast Steel, to be correct. We really must leave. So he's a robot, right? He's like a robot. Blast Steel, to be correct. We really must if leave. I wanted to hurt you. <laughs> I could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> we must go. Now. Earthing members of the dominant species are highly protective of their offspring. Find the mother and you will find the child. The Braxis is concentrating on his wound. I cannot locate. He's concentrating on his wound. Hey, yo! It's closed! Can't you read or what? Stupid! People in small towns, notorious for their rudeness and abrupt, brusque manner. Yeah. 
Oh, hey, dipshit, the welcome to Idaho, <laughs> fuckface. It's like, what, what's this New Yorker doing here? <laughs> I can't you fucking read, stupid. Hey, welcome to fucking Kansas, retard. That's my hands up box. Hey, listen, pal. Ain't no exotic dances here in these parts. Not in this town, anyways. Shame. Thank you. Hey, hey, watch it! <laughs> Is this yet another person that's gonna get in front of a car? Hey, Bob, that's my car! <laughs> yep. yep. Man, this is a terrible idea, guys. If somebody ever jumps in your car, don't stand behind it or in front of it. Or to the sides of it, really. Get away and call the cops. Don't get run over like Jesse Ventura. Is Maxie a man? Yes. Or whoever the fuck that guy was. Is a friend of yours? A good friend. He was a fucking New York, Illinois there. Is it a mating partner of yours? Wait a minute. Okay, so are they trying, they're trying to introduce a love connection now at this point. So this is where it goes Starman. Conjugal relationship with a male member of your species. Yeah, that's what I said. Command issues a reminder that you are to terminate. What did you do that for? So that we can talk uninterrupted. It appears that Abraxas has shut down his answer box. That's three times he's failed to have to this in a direct That's three times he's failed to listen to our faggoty ass audience. for this assignment. He's had possession of the coal meter for 147 parsecs. These guys are so nerdy. Parsecs are not an appropriate earth time. I keep trying to think of who to compare that fucking hair to. The Bride of Frankenstein is the closest thing I got. We're still experiencing warp malfunction in that sector height. Frankenstein got gay married in this cinematic universe. Oh, he's kind of lit like Frankenstein's monster, so maybe that's what they were going for. Those scenes in the space command center thing are fucking barely lit at all. That's because in the future we don't need light. What kind of a test? I knew something. How could a kid like you possibly know that this guy would want? As Rist was talking. And then yeah, man, yeah. Rist with the blood. <laughs> All right, keep it. Scrapes him off the walls. Had him quarried down. Kid's gold. Solid gold. to be a star. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Hey, damn it, you man, yeah. Hold on. Cut his mom a $50 check. Give him a commissary coupon. What this is uh, Rax's character. What do you know about this guy, anyway? I know more than I believe. Uh, holy schmoly's man, <laughs> this movie is so bad. You want to do a time check? No, 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 I don't want to know. And we just got to plow through this one, TJ. Trust me, you know, I, you, my, I can't you, handle it. You don't want to know how much I don't want, left. Oh, dude, I'm not going to look. Fuck. All right, well, that's uh, oh, it's like almost it's half. It's about half. <laughs> it's about halfway over. So all you got to do is get through as much as we've already gotten through. And then you're good. Do you want to sit up so all you gotta do is just what what we just went through. <laughs> it happens again, and then we're done. Dude, is Abraxas fucking this kid's mom now? <laughs> Already, yeah, he moves quick. We're partners. Yeah, shoot him, please. No, I'd say more like peacemen. Peacemen. A person who tries to solve things peacefully. Every time we've seen you, you've been blowing up trees and shit. Sheriff, I can't eat this. It's nothing but white bread, processed cheese, and non-organic lettuce. It's just pesticide and water. Shouldn't you guys be looking for the fucking crazed homicidal maniacs that just rampage no, through the table? The important thing right now is to quibble over what's in a sandwich. Listen, well, so we gotta stop and get some hoagies. We got some guy going around blowing people up and stuff, but uh, goddamn these sandwiches. This sandwich ain't good enough for me. <laughs> Should we be calling the National Guard or like the FBI or something? Or somebody competent? Like we're small town cops and there's some guy going around blowing people's heads up. Maybe it's time for us to call in some bigger guns than ourselves. Yes. Yes. All of them. Man, whoever wrote this comedic interlude cop shit had no understanding of funny at all. Uh, whoever made this movie had no understanding of filmmaking at all. <laughs> So I don't even think they understand he reality. All okay. Creepy transition. Thanks. More exposition. 
the series. More so. than halfway through the film. Yeah, remember earlier in the, the remember earlier in the movie. Shit. This is just for the earlier in the movie. Yeah, so we're just looking at it all again. <coughs> Tommy, you should be in bed. You should be in bed. Ahead. Not sitting in bed with the shirtless weirdo I just met today. <laughs> yeah. The healing rate is a control. Factor. That's my job. Manipulated will. I'm feeling better, much better. Thank you. Well, maybe you can manipulate okay. it, though, but I sure can't. This performance from Jesse Ventura <laughs> is just Great. unadulterated dog shit. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I can't even why believe. They, I know he's capable of you know at I mean, least like, emoting, so I don't know why they limited him to this. I saw him in Predator, and it's not like he was an Academy Award winning yeah. fucking actor in that or something, but... God damn, it was more fucking watchable than this, whatever this is. Holy shit. The anti-life equation could lie dormant in his mind for his entire life. Or it could You're not on NPR, you're in a fucking movie! <laughs> He's talking like an NPR fucking radio personality. This is awful. And today we're going into the vintage country to take a look at the uh, surprising new grape growing techniques in California's fertile San Fernando Valley. Uh, live with you will be Jim. I thought there were no strip clubs in this town. Now there are. Ain't got no Falls all of a sudden silent. Like, oh. I mean, at least there's some ass to look at. You know what I mean? I was not gonna begrudge myself a gander, and not in this movie. It's, yeah, this movie don't give you much. I mean, this movie presents me with some gratuitous ass. I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna tear my eyes away from that. Get away from me. Because I know it's gonna devolve all too quickly into this nonsensical tripe. Stop. You are but a joke to me. Alright, now it's even Jack and the Terminator fucking music, dude. Yeah, kind of. They just played like a fucking modified version of the Terminator music. Dude, is he gonna imp What? Is Why did you come in there and punch out a whole fucking strip club just to look at a bitch? Like, what? And then they go right to some more boobs. Which she's like. Local mode is resumed. Sensors indicate that you have died <coughs> and that you have had direct contact with the Comator child on a one to one basis. You have had ample uh, opportunities to terminate. We don't the need to know about that. And efficiently. Command Do you like functioning in the vocal mode? Vocal mode is necessary to serve and protect you, Abraxas. You will speak when spoken to, or I will deactivate your vocal mode. Command has issued an order to terminate the Comator child. You are not to speak unless spoken to. The problem is not the child, it is Secundus. Yeah. Wow, what a scene that went nowhere that informed nothing. Oh, hi, dude, I just went today and it's down in my bathroom bleeding. I was just on the bed with my son. What's up? <laughs> Need I remind you that finders are not to have sexual intercourse with- Like, you know she's right there right now. <laughs> she can hear you talking. Dude, I hope Hulk and Bubba the Love Sponge come in and, like, double-team this chick or something. <laughs> Bubba the Love Sponge, dude. Weird. Well, highly irregular patterns. Like, nothing you have on record. Uh, what about the blood in the wall at the Murray joint? You believe in extraterrestrials? <sighs> Spies, CIA, now ETs. Look, I believe I saw what I saw. More than that, I'll figure out as we go. Now, what about the blood? The blood. Someone read. in the chat's like, I'm checking if she ever did news. Yes. <laughs> chemical composition is like nothing Dude, to Dude, is it 60% capacity? Send those to me on Twitter if she did. Animal. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Please. Paul, too, is interested. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so who do you think these guys are? Shriners? Someone said Jesse Ventura's character makes me uncomfortable. I think he's making us all uncomfortable at this point in the movie. <laughs> this whole thing is uncomfortable. 
Yeah, this is an uncomfortable They're trying to film. force a love story between this weird old bald ape of a man and this young woman. Who talks like an NPR fucking guy, dude. <laughs> it is illogical. I brought you a shirt. Dude, that chin is so unfortunate, man. I mean, I guess it was good for wrestling, but in this movie... I just keep waiting for a turd to come out of it. <laughs> Or like a penis to come out of the front. Yeah, dude. Rolls yeah, back the foreskin it's his of his fucking chin. cloaca. His forechin, dude. <laughs> his cloaca, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's even Durant's like to lean over a toilet. Fucking. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man, that was way better than anything in this movie. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this small town sucks, and I hope it gets bulldozed to the fucking ground yeah, dude. for being in this movie. Your section? No, it's not. Yes, it's <laughs> no, it's not. He's it's in the new section of common territory. <laughs> and besides, there's the murder scene of town in that side. Paul quit bogarting that fucking pipe, dude. What pipe? Oh shit, that one there. Well, I'm <laughs> the one that the giant even aware of its existence is shining it. onto. <laughs> Do robots wear condoms? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Is, I, are they robots? Is that what they are? Because they're they got metal in their faces. Plasteel, to be exact. I'm hungry. Here's the menu. I think they're like enhanced humanoids or whatever. I, eat. I think they can lay pipe. Is what I'm getting at. Because this whole movie is building it's towards them good. having some. Dude, there's gonna be a sex scene with that fucking saxophone music. He ordered the whole breakfast. It's guaranteed, dude. Did you check to see if you had money? They're gonna bone. You ask him. No way. Uh-uh. So we do the We needed yeah, to <laughs> Can someone please give us some money to make this feel like it's worth it? Anyways, I got a lot of work to catch up on around here. I'm gonna stay in town. Leave my guns or something. Why don't you come to our place? This is fucking Family horrible. Business. What do you have it? That's true. They're like space Thank sex you. offenders, dude. Yeah. One of them comes to the planet, rapes a bitch, and impregnates her. The other one comes and starts laying around in bed with her son. And, yeah. Spying on her in the shower and shit. She, the idea behind that in production was that they had a more evolved uh, sense of Get human sexuality. The you know you're here, the better. Sexuality, huh? Okay, that the aliens that Abraxas and Secundus come Morning. from have evolved past their notions sure, sure. that we have today <coughs> about sex. The dude says, fuck you, give me some entertainment. Alright, here you go, look. <laughs> Banana <laughs> penis, <laughs> Ooh, look. <laughs> You're entertained. Right. Oh my, are you not entertained? You're entertained now. I think he was actually talking to this movie. Oh. You're being pretty formal here. But too. whatever. We believe this is know. awful. Now maybe you're protecting somebody. I don't can we know. just re replace ourselves with robots that help. just sit here and be like, "This Can't sucks. Do. This is awful." Streamlabs, please. Bleep this bloop. sucks. Bleep this is bloop. awful. Streamlabs, please. Mary, you're in danger. I can protect you. You know, I think these scenes with these two yahoos here are probably why the movie didn't do so well at the box office. Let me think about oh, it's, uh, it's their fault, huh? On, yeah, man, these, these here, stupid right? police guys just kind of like were inserted in here last minute uh, without my approval. I didn't shine off on the script changes. And they had such a profound effect on the pacing of the movie. Uh, there should have been more scenes with uh, the leading lady running her hand over my abs. My abdominals yeah. were very in tone at Why the time that I, uh, because I was trying to get I back into the wrestling, you see, at this time. You see. And Secundus would just track she. I see. We'll take he has not actually here. been shirtless in this movie, so I'm assuming he probably was not in the but greatest. You can kind of even see a little gut there, I think. How are you going to do that? girdled gut. I've done it before. Because the only time he was shirtless, that he he still had that fucking blanket up over his gut. Oh, yeah. It was I'll like, take care of it. It's like, my pecs still look good. Gut, not so much. Thank you. Not like my impress. Look at my abs. Look at that. Washer board right there. Yeah. That's solid. That's a pretty solid gut. Self-moistening and 
Did it say something about moistening? Your answer box sounds a little jealous. <laughs> I am free from the bondage of emotion and do not suffer many jealousies. Remember what I told you? The answer box is literally jealous of the bitch. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is where it gets steamy here between me and Alice and Dandy, the uh, lead role uh, lady here. <laughs> yes, uh, her kiss was bittersweet, I remember it being, and uh, tasted like her chapstick, which was, uh, you know, a beeswax based chapstick. She was that a vegan type. Good. If I remember. That was really good. Yes, but uh, I worked my, my charms on her here in this scene. I remember her being very into this kiss here. Uh, her her pushing. You, you can literally see her recoiling from it. Whatever. <laughs> She's literally like the actress, like, oh god. Uh, I'm enjoying this. Uh, uh. <laughs> there was two bottles of Listerine. Dear mom, I love you. In the so back. Much. You think of Rex's too. Look, I have a condition, okay, and it had, it's called halitosis. You might have heard of it. Makes my breath smell like hot fish most of the day. Okay, it's not my fault. This guy's still eating breakfast, so that's good. Will there be anything else? Well, there. Where are they going? To the school up the street. Do all the children from around here go to the same school? Yeah, it's... Space sex offender years. strike again. <laughs> Where can I find these little children? Do all of them go to this school? Did I order this? Everyone gets one. Merry Pleasant. What? Commander I mean, whatever. Abraxas, guardian of the universe. <laughs> That's a very when you hear guardian of the universe, you see two big fucking muscle bound fucks who can't act mulling around in a shitty small town, right? Yeah. That's your fucking immediate thought when you hear Abraxas, guardian of the of the universe. You don't see space and gun battles and lasers and shit. No. You see these guys in this small town. Shoot him! Shoot him! Oh shit, he's got a fucking Uzi! <laughs> so after all that, dude, the local cops took him out. He's after done, he's done for. Him. Here's five dollars for a cloaca chin joke. <laughs> Thank you. I knew it was worth it at was least beautiful. five dollars. forever. Infinite bullets in that bitch. Interesting, but not effective. <laughs> now that cop is not in a hurry at all. <laughs> <laughs> he must have, he's a police officer, he's obeying all traffic. Or is that Secundus? Oh, is that Secundus? Well, either, either, either way, Secundus just didn't... I guess that, that fits his character more. He stole the car. People are calling him Suck on Dis. Suck on Dis. In the fucking yeah. chat there. Suck on Dis. the uh, Vegas shooter had a shitty name as Secondus, dude. Living a lot less dead. 
Dude, I can just feel the weight of the fucking universe hanging over these scenes. Man. I know, it's right? like, what if... It really... This movie does a great job at conveying to you how this is important. This yeah. story needs to be told, you know? Yeah. Are you all right, Tommy? Mm. You haven't scared to death. I want to talk to Tommy alone. Uh, no. I could drive back no. to Maxie's house no. in the car with Tommy. No. Tommy? Okay. No. <laughs> Space sex offenders. This movie is no good. I know that I have other plans. But that's the Arnold. They're both trying to do an Arnold. This guy just has more of the actual voice. Yeah. Jesse Ventura just ends up sounding like a fucking NPR host with a fucking lisp. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, have you ever seen a grown android naked? <laughs> And the mom's just like, sure. I want to talk to Tommy about the birds and the bees. Is that okay with you? Languages, Give you a little demonstration, religion, Tommy. Something like Brett King. Basically, King when we it. come to break down, we're <laughs> all just people arguing. Is this the intergalactic pedo <laughs> ring that Alex Jones keeps talking about? Yeah, it started here with this film. What? I stole that I joke from Eric Ullenstein in the chat. Cool. Thank you, Jared. One at a time. No. I love children. <laughs> um. Your mother told me right. you have a birthday coming up. You'll be six. Good for you, buddy. I have a birthday soon. I'll be eleven. I guess they're more enlightened out there in space. Next Tuesday. That's a little bit more than six, isn't it? I know why you won't speak, Tommy. I tap, dude. Afraid. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Just blow each other up and end this. <laughs> end the war for the galaxy, man. Give him the kid. I want to see somebody Sometimes use the fucking... What was it called? Sometimes Anti-life anti -life equation. equation. Yeah, I want to see somebody use it in this film. So I hope it gets extracted from the kid, at least. He didn't want to do it in front of her. He wants Secundus height. No, no, he'll do it. I agree, but he'll do it his way. He can't do it his way. He can't take Secundus out. He knows what's necessary. He'll do it when the child is relaxed and unsuspecting. Why are these people so against killing Secundus? He'll do it when the child's relaxed and unsuspecting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why does this movie keep piling on the pedo fucking insinuations? I think maybe uh, Damien Lee, the writer of the movie, was uh, harboring some skeletons in that closet, man. Jesus. The skeletons suck. <laughs> They're not good. <laughs> At least Roman Polanski's got some good skeletons, bitch. I'd rather watch just a live cam of Chauncey. That's a better skeleton than this. Dude, Chauncey, a Chauncey live cam. We should just do that at some point. Yeah. He Chauncey should, should do a 24-hour show, dude. Yeah, dude. 24-hour Chauncey-a-thon, dude. Oh, Mike, I'm down. Someone took birth through the classroom, grabbed me, and says he wants a coat coal co-mater. It's him. Send him the co-mater. I want him now. We have 30 seconds before I kill the children. Why are you doing this? <laughs> What do you want? He's gonna start killing us. What do you want? He just told you what he fucking wants. Send on the call mater. The child called Tommy. 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 Why did he just tackle a woman running after her kid? Anti-life equations. You are my son. You are the co-mater. 
The Comator? You know, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 actually did have something similar to this plot going on. Did it? I haven't seen it yet. So maybe Guardians of the Galaxy 2 ripped off a Guardian of the Universe. Comator that's why you don't fuck with suck on this, bitch! What the fuck is I this? I mean, like, this dude can't even catch a fleeing six-year-old? I mean, what is this shit, well, man? He just casually saunters everywhere, so... Like, get on with this shit, please, movie? You've been faking the fucking finale for fucking, like, 20 minutes now! You know what the funny thing is, is that I wanted to sh keep screaming, Run Tommy, run, run, run Tommy, because I thought I it would be cinematically to. interesting, and then, you know, just a few years later, uh, <laughs> you know, Forrest <laughs> Gump uh, showed up my idea, so, looks like I was right I'm again, afraid, but... If I'd been listened to, this would have been a blockbuster. I mean, the parts with me in it are already blockbusters. <laughs> Long before he hits oh, yes, that's mass. definitely true, dude. But I want to cut these idiots right out. These stupid space goons. I mean, come on. That's why the movie failed. It needed more of me chasing Secundus through the forest in the wintertime. Abraxas versus Secundus in the forest. Stripped down version of the Braxis. It's just them in the forest the whole time. Chasing each other around. Hey, why are the Beach Boys playing behind the scene? No more running. Why is he taking his clothes <laughs> off? <laughs> because. Because this is a Braxis. The. Look, I, I mean, I'm serious. The title of this movie in my mind is now Space Sex Offenders. There's way too much of this. Someone said the music is pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> this is what all the pedos listen to. I wanted them to uh, I wanted them to secure the rights to the Beach Boys Kokomo for this scene, but uh, they insisted on going with this more indie band, local uh, Idaho band. So uh, another instance I wasn't listening to. happening now as this man <laughs> slowly walks towards this child. Fire. Cool. This is dog shit. Why would I they put this believe. music in the phone? Like, I can't believe what I'm fucking seeing and hearing right now. It's like a bad music video for whatever shitty song this is. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe this band funded this whole movie <laughs> just to try just to promote this. this song and to get this video made for their song. Dude had a dream. It's like this kid's running from this dude and there's this fire exploding everywhere. Yeah, man. Let's write a song about it. And then we'll make a video that just is like a literal, man. It's just like a little boy running away from a couple of big muscly guys, a bunch of fire. This has to be where the climax takes place, right? I mean, oh, dude. fire and shit. This has to be the end, right? This has to be ending soon. This can't possibly go on. You are the cold man. Can Is out of your control, Abraxas. You cannot kill Sonya's son, and you cannot kill me. I was a finder, a good finder. Remember the mandate? No finder, past or present, can be executed. Go back home, Abraxas. 
So wait, there's literally a law that says they can't kill Secundus? Yeah. Seems like a dumb law that would be immediately changed upon the rise of Secundus. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, maybe we didn't dig that law out too good. Because, uh... This Secundus thing is kind of... We want to just let Abraxas kill him, so... So what do these sparks have to do with what's going on? Nothing? Okay. Why are they playing, like, Tropical Island getaway music during this? The scoring of this film makes zero fucking sense. Like, clo if you close your eyes... It kind of just sounds like chilling on a beach. Yeah. With a pina colada. Someone gave us 20 bucks. I didn't know whether Tommy cool. was going to Yo guys, the face love of the all of you. Paul, if you could watch up. Danger 5 and do a review, Golden I would be door. ever in your debt. Tommy? To give you money. Holy shit. Well, that well, seems like an offer. Tommy? I'll look into it. Danger 5. Danger 5. Sounds like my kind of dog shit. Danger 5. It's gonna be alright. Man, we can do that for you, sir. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be alright, Tommy. No, it's not! If it was gonna be all right, it would have been all right by now. It's okay, Tommy. That's what I wanted to say here. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, cut that line of dialogue, like so much of the other dialogue that I delivered, it was just simply brilliant throughout. But yes, uh, you know, this, I remember this fire being really hot. I don't know if they have like uh, like a less hot fire nowadays. For, for Shetch, but uh, this fire was full on, like, you know, like fire, you know? Hot fire. And the twist. I hope Ventura is the top slash dom. Alright, don't don't share your thoughts with yeah. us anymore. This, this movie doesn't need any more sexual fucking deviancy heaped on top of it, alright? It's already soaked. Yeah, just leave it alone. It's fine how it is. top of being the worst movie ever in history, this also has the worst fight scene ever in history. Yeah. I've I mean, watched so many lists of, like, top ten worst fight scenes, and how I've not seen this on one of them, I do not know. It's, yeah. like, entirely in slow motion. You never see anything connect. Half the time, they cut away from it to just show a room full of sparks. It's real bad. So is he dead? Is that what killed him? Going like this? That's his fucking weakness? Touching his face? Going, oh, you cute little whippersnapper? Is that fucking suck on this is fucking weakness? Why don't they just teleport him back to the prison and keep him in there this time? Or change the law and execute his dumb ass while he's in custody? Why at the beginning of the movie could he just teleport this man to a cell immediately and now he's having to beat the shit out of him? Just for the anti-life equation. Warning. Testing will result in discorporation. Testing will result in discorporation. Testing will result in discorporation. Alright, there you go. <laughs> you know what? You know what? If you can't do a special effect, don't do a special effect. <laughs> You know, interestingly enough, that, uh, that explosion there was just a firecracker that I had in my trailer. <laughs> and uh, a slow-mo camera we borrowed from a, from a production company in Iowa. So, yeah, that, that was the genesis of that great effect. It's possible someone hey, look, you else tried to exploit the coal mater. I did? Yeah, see. Occurs, cool. It will be dealt with then, Abraxas. It might be wise if Tommy were assigned a permanent finder. Command says your recommendation will be considered. Prepare for travel, Abraxas. Now the kid. Ha Merry Christmas, everyone. I would be very. God bless us, everyone. That's what it was. Do, you, do the tiny Tim moment where he finally says something. Now prepare for travel. I'm gonna miss you, Abraxas. I cannot leave. To refuse a transport order means to forfeit your finderhood. I know. Can I keep my answer box? 
I would be pleased to stay and watch over you, Sonia, and Tommy, if command permits it. We have a decision to make. The decision has already been made. I was wrong about Abraxas. I respect Abraxas now. We can stay. So, be a space bounty hunter, or stay in this shitty small town with this bitch and her mute kid. Sounds like a terrible choice, but okay. whatever, I'm not Abraxas, so I'm not gonna judge his life choices. I've made some weird ones myself. There you go. Never like turning down intergalactic bounty hey. huntership or whatever the fuck you got some for You're a good man, dating a shark. chick with a kid good good man. You really are some kind of cop in a tiny town. Like, get out of here. God damn it! You're over! It's done! Suck on this is dead! The movie died! Like, pretty much right when it began. You're done! Roll credits! Goodbye! I think I'm gonna like Goodbye! You can go now! got a great deal of potential. No, it doesn't, and this movie proves it! Fuck off! I kinda like that guy. I don't! Nobody else does! You're the only one! Fuck out of here! End! End! No! No! Another scene! Universe, and I was under it for good. Come on! I'm really glad you're staying. Me too. Then the credits. The kid has talked. The kid too. I said me too. Man, I love that moment in a movie where the little mute kid finally say something. Tiny Tim does for that shit. Yeah, Abraxas, guardian of the motherfucking universe. Um, uh, it's not the worst movie that me and Paul have sat down and subject ourselves to, but it is fucking in contention. Wow, that was fucking unmitigated, weird, creepy cringy ass yeah um I, I i i can't even remember one thing i liked in that movie and that's really rare for me like usually i'm able to find one little thing that i was like okay that was kind of cool at least there was that one scene with the but i'm racking my brain here and i can't think of a single moment in this movie that i wouldn't have let hit kit like just completely cut even the burning had that scene where he lights that bitch's hair and fire in the disco yeah. and cool. it had a couple of moments like that this he... fucking movie there's nothing. nothing there's not a single fucking moment that you're going to look back to in this movie like this is a movie you could quiz me on it tomorrow i wouldn't know shit about it i already don't know shit about it it's a braxis guardian of the universe how did he guard the un I mean, I, I guess nobody ever got to see the pat like th that's an action movie like 101 thing. Like if there's some powerful thing that the villain's trying to get, at some point he's got to get it for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you could see what it can do. Right. He never got it. He never got it. He never got the fucking anti-life equation. We never got to see what kind of power he would wield if he got that. So it never felt epic. It was just a couple of dumb big dumb guys beating on each other for fucking hour and 45 minutes. How long was this? Hour and 20 fucking seven minutes. Oh my god. So not even close. It felt like an hour and 45 minutes. No, it, it felt like fucking two or three. Yeah, not three, I guess. But it felt like a two or fucking two and a half hour movie. Like, just sitting here. Like, it's unbelievable how fucking awful that was. Uh... Obviously, the credits are rolling right now. If you guys want to give it any tips last minute, we're more than happy to respond. Anything appears in Streamlabs pertaining sure. to this movie or other movies or anything else that might be on your mind. Because <clears throat> uh, we won't leave before these credits are fucking done. I mean, we haven't beaten the movie if we haven't sit... You, know, yeah, we, yeah, we have, you, you have, have to sit, sit through, through everything too. it offers. Including its, its credits, credits are rolling by real slow too. Oh, they, look at how many people were involved in this. I feel Shouldn't there be three things them. like muscle guy one, muscle guy two, kid mom, director, guy holding camera? Yeah, it seemed like that was about all there was. Oh, and here for all the great music in the movie, now we can see who's responsible for that. Strong as I am, performed by the prime movers. 
Okay. A Silent Night. Okay. Uh, was that it? I was like the only strong as I am. I guess strong as I am was the the pedo movie. Yeah, the, the pedo song. Yeah, the one song with a name that isn't like in the public domain. Special thanks to some mayor somewhere that the mayor of this happened. shit little town that let Jesse Ventura come in because he was a wrestling fan. I hope that I hope, movie in I hope that uh, he was impeached for letting this movie happen. <laughs> I'm sure that, sh- that town is a shithole, but I don't think it's such a bad shithole that it deserved this movie to happen to it. I almost feel like it's, it's, it's wrapping up here. Yeah, this is the end. The end of the credits. The prime movers are from Michigan. Well, maybe this was shot in Michigan then. Someone just said this movie had a budget of $2 million. No. <laughs> if you this... know, ninety percent um, of that went to just feeding me and uh, my co-star uh, Secundish. Secundish. <sighs> so uh, someone sent in some money here. What about them SJWs? What about them? What about them? I don't think they had anything to do with this piece of shit. I mean, you could you could put a lot at the feet of the SJWs. Uh, I mean, like, if this movie had two million, if this movie had a two million dollar budget, then it was basically uh, a tax scheme by Jesse Ventura to get two million dollars by making a movie. I mean, there's no fucking way two million dollars was spent on that. And we we literally saw a scene where, in order to achieve an effect of someone blowing up, they just faded into a fucking Fire firecracker cracker. explosion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was. I. I mean, whatever. Maybe. It, maybe it costs way more to fucking film a movie than we know, dude. Maybe just you know securing the licensing for all those streets they shot on and shit. I don't know what that fucking costs. Well, I don't know. This movie was awful. It uh, was. It, it certainly didn't. Didn't. It wasn't worth two million dollars. Uh, it's not worth the the time we spent watching it. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys as always. Thank and, you guys uh, for uh, for watching. We'll be doing one of these uh, every other week. So yep. every other Thursday, you'll be able to sit down with us and uh, oh, thank you for the two dollars, America, indeed. America. You'll be able to sit down with us and watch one of these torturous films and uh, suffer through it with us as we attempt to make it a little bit better. I'm Paul Zigo. This is TJ. This is Cinema vs. Cynics. Yeah. Good night, everybody. The next one... Hold on, I'm just telling the next one we make. Oh, yeah? The next one's going to be on the 19th. Yeah. So who knows? If you guys have any suggestions for a good movie for the 19th, leave it in the comments below. I feel love in my butt. <laughs> someone in the chat said that. Oh, someone just gave $5 and said nothing but the tip. Thanks. That's a great way to end. Nothing but the tip. There it goes. <laughs> Peace, y'all.